Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plexus uh, 2D. This is tutorial uh, number 22 and uh, if you remember in a previous example we uh, simulated uh, this uh, stratigraphy and we uh, we designed a steel sheet pile wall for a 5 meter excavation and uh, we used a specific uh, cross section of a sheet pile wall and also we found or we yes we found uh, this embedded uh, length of sheet pile uh, using uh, G5 and uh, uh, performed a deformation analysis in Plaxis 2D. So due to excessive soil deformation we increased uh, this embedded uh, length uh, in Plaxis uh, 2D uh, to 4 meters. So in uh, this example we will uh, install also a ground anchor uh, for improving the stability of uh, this uh, sheet pile wall and also to increase uh, or to decrease uh, the lateral displacement at top of the pile. So uh, we will uh, use uh, the same example from uh, tutorial uh, 21 and we will only model a uh, ground anchor uh, uh, at uh, this location as you can see uh, the ground anchor is 11 meters uh, long uh, the first uh, 7 meter is a free length and uh, the last 4 meters is a ground uh, body check the safety uh, factor in uh, this example so as we can see the factor of safety is uh, about 1.6 Four, and it uh, increased uh, considerably uh, if you compare to previous example uh, because in a previous example uh, without ground anchor it was uh, approximately 1 and right now it is uh, more than 1.5 and we can uh, say our structure is uh, safe also let me click on view calculation uh, results for a safety analysis uh, phase and uh, if I click on deformation and total displacement and uh, as you can see in here so uh, this is a critical failure uh, surface for uh, this example so as we can see if uh, for example if I want to do an optimization for uh, the ground anchor for example uh, this uh, part of ground anchor is not necessary because it is uh, we can uh, decrease it until uh, this uh, uh, surface so uh, we can we can measure it in like uh, this one so as we can see it is about 1.7 meter if we want to do optimization we can also uh, decrease uh, the free length of ground anchor bar by 1 or 1 1.5 meter uh, so let me uh, delete uh, this one okay and uh, let me uh, change uh, the phase to the last uh, construction phase before uh, safety analysis which is a final excavation to, to check the deformation in sheet pile wall and uh, soil body so as we can see uh, the maximum uh, deformation or displacement in this construction phase is 0 0.01 meter which is uh, about one centimeters and if I click on deformation and uh, want to see the lateral uh, displacement of uh, the wall as you can see it is about uh, 9.5 uh, millim millimeters and if I double click on this uh, I click on here select structure and double click on the sheet pile wall or on the plate and uh, if we change to uh, displacement in x direction we can see the maximum uh, lateral displacement is about 9.5 millimeters so it is okay and also we can check the forces in uh, the sheet pile wall if I click on force we can uh, see the bending moment as we can see 
the maximum bending uh, moment is about uh, 61 also we can check uh, the shear force or we can check also uh, the axial force also we can check uh, for example uh, the forces in uh, ground anchor if i double click on this uh, part which is a free uh, length part we can see the maximum axial force in uh, uh, this uh, ground anchor is 89 uh, kilonewton and also we can see uh, the frictional resistance at uh, ground body part if I double click on uh, this part and if I click on uh, force uh, t-skin so we can see uh, the uh, skin friction uh, the maximum skin friction and minimum uh, skin friction in this uh, grouted body as you can see in here so if i click on force and uh, click on t skin as a maximum uh, this is uh, the maximum or ultimate uh, value uh, which we imported into the plexus uh, that's why if uh, if the frictional uh, force uh, in this body calculated by plexus is uh, greater than uh, which we imported in uh, the material properties uh, it is possible that a numerical uh, error will happen uh, in a plexus uh, that's why we always have to uh, input a high value uh, to uh, avoid numerical error in plexus